Greetings everyone and welcome. Couldn't be more excited to have you here today. If you're new here, my name is Karina from the Boho Abode and today I am super excited to do something with this blank wall here behind me. This wall has been the bane of my existence for a very long time now. It separates the kitchen from the living room and I would love to just knock it down, but it's a load bearing wall and money really needs to be diverted elsewhere before taking care of cosmetic things like that. So. I found this beautiful Rattan Bistro set not too long ago, and it kind of gave a little bit of purpose to this spot on the wall, but the space above it was still kind of blah, still a wall in the middle of what could be a beautiful open space. So I have this gigantic box here in front of me, and inside are some super cool, I would describe them as moody boho art prints that we are going to arrange together on this wall here behind me. And I wanna give a huge thank you and shout out to Fi. And if you've never checked out Fi before, they have some of the coolest art prints, some of the coolest home decor. You gotta browse, it's a lot of fun, just chilling. You know, it's like browsing through a magazine, but 2020, right? So inside this box, I have the art prints that I selected to go above this piece here. And so I'm going to adjust your view there so you can see, and we're going to get this unboxed. All right, now that we've got everything out of the shipping box, let's talk about how well everything inside is packaged. Every single frame has its own bubble wrap layer. Everything was then taped together so that it doesn't shift and move around. It was in an oversized box, as you saw, just in case, and I know this has happened to you before, it's happened to me so many times, where the ends of a box will get damaged in shipping and then whatever was inside gets damaged. But if that happened to me, these would have all been perfectly fine because they were brought in from the edges. And then on top of that, each one has its own printout on it to show you which print is wrapped inside of it. So I am super excited to get this bubble wrap off because then we can work on getting these on the wall. So I'm just gonna jump into it. Now that I have everything laid out the way that I want it up on the wall, I am going to use command strips to attach them to the wall. These do come with hanging hardware on the back, which can get in the way of using command strips to apply them to the wall. So I'm going to take a flathead screwdriver to just work it out of the backs of the frames. As you can see, they pretty much come right out. So I'm gonna do that. Then we're going to get this up on the wall. Super excited to see how it turns out.
The gallery wall is now up and I feel like this should be obvious, but I'm going to say it anyways. I am so obsessed with how this has turned out. The prints are so cool. The print quality is amazing. The colors are so rich and vivid. I love the way the different pieces work together and the way they work with the whole room. So before I show you what it all looks like put together, I wanna chat about my process for choosing prints for the gallery wall because I think the process is duplicable and you can totally follow the same thing I did and get a gallery wall that is incredible, that you're going to love. So first thing, you need a source for art prints and 100% I would recommend starting your search with Fi. You can go to imfi.com, you can go to their wall art prints and the options are like so expansive. They have so many different things to choose from, but they do have categories to help make it easier to find exactly what you're looking for. So you can categorize, uh, shop by things like room type, theme, color, style, shape. I mean, they have all these different categories. You're going to find things that you love, but before you think of anything else, just go in, find the prints that you love, and then kind of set those all aside for the next step. And the next step is making sure the colors fit with the room that you are putting them in. If you have a mural or a really great rug or a tapestry or whatever that has really great colors in it, you wanna make sure the gallery wall is going to vibe with it. So pull colors from it, um, pull patterns from it, pull style from it, um, any of those kinds of things. Um, and I'll have a blog post linked down below that'll have all of the things to look for, all of the different categories. It'll also give you layout ideas for your gallery wall too. So definitely make sure to check that out and save it for later. If you don't have any of those things and you're hoping to use your gallery wall as a jumping off point for a room design, make sure to look for pieces that fit the vibe, the color scheme, the undertones that you're wanting the whole room to have because these are gonna be the pieces that you pull colors from. Wall colors, you can get your rug inspiration from it, you can get your throw blankets and pillow colors from it. So definitely try to keep all of those things in mind no matter where you are at in the process for designing the room. The next thing that I would suggest doing once you've got all of these favorites is look at the different layouts that I have in the blog post, decide which one is gonna work for your space, and then plug in the different prints that you're thinking of purchasing, the images. You can use something like Canva and just kind of lay them out to see if visually they're going to work together and if they're going to work in the gallery layout that you're wanting to go for. And then once you've got that, you're gonna have a pretty clear idea what it is you are going to need to purchase. So at that point, you just have to wait for it to arrive. And as you saw, the packaging with the Fi Art Prints is phenomenal. They've done everything to ensure that your prints are going to arrive in immaculate condition. And they do come with those metal hangers, like I mentioned earlier. So you can use nails to hang them up, or you could use command hooks if you're the kind of person who likes to move things around a lot, like myself, and you won't have to worry about patching holes in your walls. You could also use command hooks too, and just hang the metal hangers on the hooks itself. But when they arrive, you're gonna open that box, you're gonna be super inspired, and you're gonna wanna jump right in to hanging that gallery wall up. And I'm excited to show you how mine turned out. So that's enough rambling from me. Like I said, I'll have the blog post linked down below that's gonna have all of the information for you to review. So let's uh, jump into looking at this gallery wall. Mm -hmm. 